OK, so let's say I need to solve 3 sine x equals 2 cosine squared x between 0 and 2 pi radians. Now, because we've got that cos squared there, we're going to want to bring in the trigonometric identity sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 again. Now, if you rearrange that to get cos squared is 1 minus sine squared, then we can make this quadratic equation just in terms of sine. So 3 sine x is 2 lots of 1 minus sine squared x. Now, if we expand the right-hand side... like so. We can then rearrange this to get everything onto the left-hand side of the equation. We can then factorise this quadratic in sine. So that's 2 sine x uh, minus 1 sine x plus 2 equals 0. Okay. Now either this bracket is 0, so sine x is a half, or that bracket is 0, so sine x is minus 2. So if we sketch sine between 0 and 2 pi, then a half will intersect the curve twice. So we'll expect two solutions here. So inverse sine of a half in radians is pi over 6 for that first solution. And so this solution is pi over 6 away from pi, so that's 5 pi over 6. Now sine x equals minus 2, well the lowest point of sine is minus 1, so minus 2 is all the way down here. And so there are no solutions to this equation. So the only solutions to the original problem between 0 and 2 pi are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6.